Bertemu kembali, pasaran e-dagang Malaysia berpotensi untuk berkembang maju dan terkehadapan. Ia diunjur berkembang pesat pada kadar dua digit dalam tempoh lima tahun akan datang. Manakala jualan runcit atas talian dijangka meningkat lebih daripada lima kali ganda dalam tempoh yang sama daripada hanya satu peratus pada tahun 2013. Dan bagi membincangkan landscape e-dagang di Malaysia bersama-sama dengan kita di studio pada hari ini adalah Ketua Pegawai Eksekutif Lazada, Hans Peter Russell. Thank you so much for being with us in the studio today. Good evening. Now, perhaps you can actually um, briefly tell us about the um, e-commerce landscape in Malaysia when Lazada first started uh, here uh, four years ago. Mm. So when we first came here, there were a couple of smaller players selling restaurant vouchers online, uh, selling second-hand used products online, or maybe were focused on one or two uh, product categories. Mm. But when we came in, uh, we in initially already started selling in a broad range of product categories. And mm -hmm. back then we had some fundamental problems when it comes to trust, customer trust. Not many customers uh, trusted online shopping in mm -hmm. general. And also when it comes to the logistical infrastructure, uh, this was not 100% ready for uh, e-commerce as we know it today. Mm -hmm. How large is the e-commerce market in Malaysia and what's the growth potential here? So I think w when we first came, it was less than 1%. Uh, of the total retail market today, it's already more than one percent, and the, what we expect in the next couple of years is that it's growing to three, five, eight percent mm -hmm. to levels where we are today in China or in some of the Western markets. Mm -hmm. Okay, as compared to other ASEAN countries, where does Malaysia stand? I think Malaysia is now, when it comes to the trust, the infrastructure is much ahead of some of the other countries. A lot of people have credit cards here. Now they also have the trust to use them. And when it comes to the logistics uh, infrastructure, you only have two islands as opposed to Philippines or Indonesia where mm -hmm. you have a lot of islands, which makes it a bit easier to deliver products the next day or two days after the, uh, the, the order was placed. Right. Four years in this, in this industry, four years uh, Lazada in Malaysia, what are the challenges that, that you have overcome? And what should be, especially for all the e-commerce business in this local market, how can they... Uh, the challenges that they should foresee and they should prepare themselves to? I think it's three things that, that were very challenging for us and people mm -hmm. need to consider if they want to be successful in e-commerce. First, it's getting the right assortment online, having the right products, mm -hmm. having the right brands online, a mix of international and global brands, but also local brands that you need to have to attract people to your page. Mm -hmm. Once they order, you need to have a very good operations. The fulfillment experience is very critical. Otherwise, people will not come back. People in Malaysia expect the delivery a day or latest two after they have placed an order. And if you're not able to do that, then the customers will not come back to you. And three, uh, your mobile strategy. Mm -hmm. Today, people are spending a lot of time on their mobile phones or mobile platforms as opposed to a normal laptop or desktop computer. Mm -hmm. And you need to have a strategy to basically cater to that demand. So we at Lazada, we have a mobile shopping app both on Android and iOS, which was already downloaded a couple of million times. Mm -hmm. And so this is something that you need to consider in this market. Okay. What are the trends that, um, that we need to, to, to be observed in this online retail industry, especially in Malaysia? Is there any um, new method of payment that they should look into? Or what are the trends, actually? I think, I think two trends that are very, very clear is, first, you see a bit of a shift, a category shift, while in the last couple of years, people were focusing mostly on buying electronic gadgets mm -hmm. online. Uh, while today they are moving towards what we call lifestyle categories, toys, kids and babies, diapers, fashion, health and beauty. Mm -hmm. And we also see a demographic shift. So while in the past it were mostly young kids, uh, college students that were buying online, today you see a shift to the generation 30, 35 plus, mm -hmm. families with kids, then, uh, then also buy in these categories. We also see that in this economic situation, people are more prudent and they are more careful in terms of their spending. In what way do you see Lazada can also actually increase the the buying trends among the consumers? I mean, we help people save money okay. in the end. If you don't have to go to the shopping mall, pay toll, pay parking, uh, and then still get the products uh, cheaper online, mm -hmm. this is how we help people uh, during these times uh, having, uh, being able to afford certain products, certain product categories. Mm -hmm. And so we see, especially in these times, a big uptick uh, on, on, on online shopping platforms. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was told that Lazada will be celebrating its fourth year in Malaysia. And uh, I'm sure there has... Um, can you actually, actually um, quickly tell us um, the overview of the four-year journey in Malaysia? And I'm sure uh, celebrating this fourth year in Malaysia, there's something uh, somewhat a new uh, promotions that you guys are doing at the moment so yeah we are we are very happy about our fourth year anniversary we're okay. going to have a big campaign from the 15th to the 18th of march 
And um, coming back from, from the early days where not a lot of people were on our platform and today we have between 10 and 15 million visitors monthly on our platform. Mm -hmm. We're also recently ranked uh, number 10 brand in Malaysia by the YouGov uh, brand index. So these are things uh, where we're very proud about uh, how things have developed. And okay. because we're so proud and because we focus on, on our anniversary campaign, we're going to have a lot of brands that will have exclusive product launches, special discounts up to 90 90 percent 95 percent we're gonna have more than one million products on our platform during these four days on special discounts okay so um what's next for lazada what's uh, uh, is there any more importantly what's next for e-commerce in malaysia i think then the next step that we're going to focus on again is still increasing our assortment going into new product categories mm -hmm. catering to customer segments that we maybe haven't even touched yet mm -hmm. uh, and then also uh, develop a more extensive logistic footprint just to be able not only in metropolitan areas but also in rural areas also in East Malaysia where we also have a warehouse mm -hmm. to be able to deliver the same day the next day or latest two days after the order have, uh, has been placed so we're going to focus on assortment and our logistics infrastructure last but not least what's in it for the local entrepreneurs in what way do you see Lazada has been helping these local entrepreneurs to promote their products through um, your online platform so we are a marketplace mm -hmm. so more than 80 percent of our business is being done by local merchants local sellers and SMEs and brands okay. uh, we have more than 10,000 of these local companies online with us that are selling hundreds of thousands of products and um, during these times especially during campaigns we work very closely hand in hand with them to be able to grow their business drive traffic on our page to their products so that they are able to sell more products than uh, during times like Chinese New Year or or other times. All right, or other festivities. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Hans Peter Russell, for being with us in, in the studio and congratulations to Lazada for the fourth year anniversary in Malaysia. Dan kita akan berhenti rehat seketika selepas ini, Uber Malaysia wujudkan 100,000 pekerjaan.